Here's the snow. Probably have, I would say we're probably in the 15, 16, 17, 18. I don't know, it's hard. A lot of wind blowing. As you can see, this is where I was measuring on the top of the trailer. So, right now it's 16 and a half inches. Yeah, two places. Yeah, 16 and a half inches at this point. Um, I'm not sure. It's supposed to have the worst to come. It's, uh, it's pretty up out here, deep wise. It's been snowing hard. It's my truck, the trailer, there's the house. Plows have done a pretty good job on our road. They've been running through here every hour or two. Okay, it is now noon and I have been plowing off and on all morning. Um, it's a pain in the ass, but I got it out to the street. Um, officially, there's a uh, National Weather Service person around here it lives right around the corner and they've posted official uh, measurement for our area um, two foot 24 inches right now and it's uh, not supposed to stop till tomorrow morning um, I'm gonna be out here in a few minutes trying to get this snow that's piled up here because I don't have any more room at the fence so I got to try to get all of this snow here down there anyway Fun, fun, fun. Four o'clock, and I finally got the whole driveway. When I got over here, I had to actually throw it over the fence because the plow, I just can't push it up that high. I got the whole front of this. I mean, I've only, I haven't been I mean, you can see how much snow has gone in just uh, less than an hour. I mean, I essentially just came in, but I've got all of this done. I moved the truck up so I could pile more snow there. I got down to the street, but Jesus Christ, it's snowing hard again. I mean, less than a half an hour, I've got maybe three quarters of an inch down here but I got the front here again the people in the neighborhood are doing a really good job with this um, keeping it passable but essentially it's my mess to clean up a uh, couple hours I'll come back out start plowing it all over again hopefully I end up have enough room to push the snow but I mean you can see my piles are you know three and a half four foot tall I guess we won't be camping this weekend it's like 10 o'clock at night the storm is finally over I believe there's just a little bit of snow coming down right now um, since the last time I was out here it looks like another inch maybe inch and a half of snow on the ground. I'll hit in the morning. It doesn't look like it's gonna snow anymore tonight. Um, I kinda don't have much space to put any snow. The Airstream is super tall now. I mean, I got no fence. Uh, I've pushed all this snow up into the woods as far as it'll go. My truck is super tall, so tomorrow morning I'm going to get up and get this driveway cleaned up. That's all for now. 11 o'clock, 
Sunday morning, proof that I was actually plowing a driveway and not a field. There's part of the driveway. I've begun to shovel out the Airstream. Um, I've plowed out down to my truck. I've got to finish down there. I'm gonna clean the truck off and back it up and finish down there. And at some point today, I've got to go over there where the sidewalk is and shovel all that shit out. And the final tally of snow, at least in our neighborhood, there's a National Weather Service employee that lives down the way. It's 29 inches, something like that. Um, they had 27 inches at uh, 7.30 last night. But when I came out to walk the dogs, it was uh, at least two, three more inches on the ground. So I'm just gonna go with 29, unless I see online some other number. So as you can see, there is a fence there. You can kind of see it there behind the uh, camper. Uh, come over here. I've chopped all this out back to the, to the driveway. And I've started to shovel off behind it the airstream just so you see snow's piled up beside it I don't want to have any refreezing getting into anything um, I don't know what I'm gonna do about the top probably just gonna leave it it'll uh, it'll melt off next couple days we're supposed to be in the 40s um, when you can see this trailer is filled to the top and blown off the truck is the same way although I did clear some of the truck off running out of space down here I really could use a bobcat or something to lift all this crap up and get it back over there same with this corner but you can see where I've I cut a corner of my uh, windshield there so I could pull up the truck without covering uncovering the whole truck anyway this here this is uh, snow Nino 2016 Airstream nerds out